Hello once again ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to An Arcade Plays Plague Inc Evolved. Today I'm going to be doing the scenario Smallpox, which states, Patient Zero is infected with a strain of Variola Major that has escaped from a lab. Humanity eradicated smallpox over 30 years ago and has a detailed knowledge of the virus as well as powerful vaccination programs. Will this be enough to stop one of the deadliest diseases that mankind has ever known? Alright. So... Uh, what can I change? I'll leave that. Um, Alright, that looks pretty good. As you can see, the only uh, plague you can pick is virus. Uh, that's because the smallpox plague was actually a virus. Fun fact. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to be calling this uh, severe sniffles. Um, I'm going to start in India as... Oops, don't want to leave the game. I'm going to start India as I usually do. And uh, just quickly walk you guys through this evolution tree. As you can see, there's already a lot of things evolved. Let's look at transmissions. Alright, droplets one. Droplets are a new transmissions, and they say pathogens suspended and expelled liquid particles from victim increase infectivity, especially on planes. Um, Fomites. Pathogen survives outside of the body. Transmitted via external objects increases infectivity, especially in wealthy and urban environments. Alright, so as you can see, there's a lot of symptoms evolved. And I'm probably going to need to devolve a lot of them. Um, just so I can put this lethality down. Alright, so... Pustules and systematic infection seem like two. I think systematic infection might actually have already been in it, but... Highly recognisable raised pustules form, filling with thick opaque fluid which can be transmitted infection if burst. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure systematic infection has been in it before. Right, let's have a look at these new um, abilities. Vaccine shield. Pathogen introduces key variations that render the, renders the smallpox vaccine ineffective. Black pox, significant decrease in coagulation, coagulation factors, platets, gave, uh, gives the ability to highly lethal hamographic smallpox. White pox, pathogen partially regresses to the milder strains of variola minor, adopted characteristics reduce severity and lethality. So I'm going to need small, uh, white pox straight away, as you can see we're already lethal and I can't afford to have that. So I'm going to have to get rid of systematic infection. Um, and pustules, I think. At the moment, I don't have many DNA points, so I'm just going to have to continue on. Alright. So I'm going to devolve you. And I might even have to devolve fever, which looks like it's a big problem. Alright, so now I can just pop straight into um, white pox and, and evolve them both, and then I won't be lethal, and then I can be very hush hush. But as you can see, I'm still killing people, so it's kind of an issue, even though it's only several people are dying. Alright, 25 DNA points to evolve white pox 2, so I'm going to have to wait for that. And then we can get into actually playing Play Geek. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, I am still killing people. Only a little amount of people, but still enough to get me recognised. So I just, I gotta get rid of that. Uh, you'll notice with this scenario that you'll spread rather rapidly, even without any transmissions evolved. Which is great. But, uh, it's great. Especially if you're just going guns ho and you just want to straight away infect every country and just go to town. But if you are trying to do a very passive um, playthrough like I am, it's probably... It's, it's still pretty good. I mean, there's a lot more bubbles to pop. So as you can see, I'm not killing many people anymore. Which is 
great. I really just want to spread this around. So I'm going to go into transmission, upgrade fomites, air and water. And yeah, I guess I'll just leave it at that. Upgrade medicine one, I'm going to need that. But transmissions don't really need much attention. Um, as you can see, planes and boats are already extremely uh, transmitting the disease. So I'm going to upgrade cold and heat just to spread in these uh, freezing cold countries and the extremely humid ones rapidly. Quickly get through Africa and quickly get through Russia. Alright, so it's spreading rather rapidly. You may want to, once you've completely infected everywhere, um, just hold off for a bit and collect a couple of DNA points just to have enough to. Um, because you're going to need to devolve white pox. White pox um, drastically reduces lethality, so you're probably going to have to devolve that. I've just evolved fever again, which I do not want. Don't want you on my life, fever. So, as you can see, I was at 20,000 dead. Fever jumped in dramatically. So yeah, um, you're going to need some extra DNA points to devolve white pox and to also evolve some lethal um, symptoms. So it looks like the majority of the southern southern of the uh, hemisphere has completely infected, but the northern hemisphere is just not. Haven't infected Greenland yet. Um, only just recently infected the Caribbean. It looks like pretty much every country is infected to the south. So let's have a look at what countries are left. Just Greenland is the only country that isn't infected. Hopefully we can get to Greenland soon. Fever keeps mutating. Stop it, Fever. You naughty, naughty pest. You're wasting my DNA points, Fever. The reason I'm continuously devolving it is because if I don't, it's going to start killing people. People are going to get noticed, and then borders are going to shut. Um, and you'll notice the cure just, just, just destroy me. Um, the cure is the biggest problem in this scenario. It jumps maybe four to three, three to four uh, percent at a time, which obviously racks up after a while. And uh, yeah, it just annihilates me. So I might actually grab cold to just to um, infect Greenland quickly because it's very slow at the moment. Not that I'm worried because I'm going to have to grab a couple of extra DNA points anyway. If any of them pop up. There we go. Alright, is that a lethal symptom? No makes them blind, but it isn't lethal. I thought that'd be a little bit lethal if it makes you blind. It's got to be someone who's just not used to being blind and just walks off a cliff or something. I mean, realistically. Come on. Wake up one day blind. Alright, so I'm going to see how much it costs to devolve white pox. 9 and 15. Um, I'm also going to need to upgrade.
spread some bad, bad symptoms. And hopefully beat the cure to the finish line. Hopefully. So Greenland and Iceland are the only two remaining. Right, no healthy people left in the world. Okie doke. So I'm going to... Great Fever, Coma... Um, devolve White Pox. I can't devolve the second one yet. Just hoping that I can kill a lot of people before the cure really, really kicks in. Thankfully though, I'm getting a lot of DNA points. So I'm going to devolve white box 2. As you can see, the cure is already on its way, like going to town on me. I'm just kind of hoping I beat it to the punchline. Cure is 75% complete. Okay, okay. Hopefully that'll help me out a little bit. Push the cure back a little. So now the cure is going to start slowing down right at the 90%. Hopefully I can kill everyone before it gets to uh, devastating. Point. Total organ failure. Now I've absolutely won this. You cannot beat me, cure. I am God. Alright. Severe sniffles to wipe out humanity. And I've done it! Only got one biohazard symbol though, so that's okay. I don't mind. Cure is at 97%. That's terrifying. Alright. So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, favorite, comment on why you like this video, or anything you want to tell me. I don't mind. I read them all. Um, yeah, check out my other videos if you enjoyed this one. And of course, as always, have a fantastic day.